Hey, welcome back to Midwest Outdoors. We are in central Illinois down at the Giant Goose Ranch. I am not Chris Grohl, but this man is. Today, we're going to learn how to fish like a pro angler. There's a difference between a good angler and a pro angler, and it's the minuscule things that they do that sets them apart from the rest. And today, we're going to pick his brain and watch what he does and learn how to fish like Chris Grohl. Oh. That's a big boy bass. They're underneath, done it. We got there, Chris. Oh, jeez. Okay, so the last time you and I were in the boat together, you dumped a five. Oh! Ah. oh. Ah. So. Okay. All right, bring it. You want me to get this? If you you dump it, I'm in the position to take you out, fool. See, that that that's how you you know retrieve somebody else's fish. Oh, you got it. I love you too, Chris. Thank you. That's a beautiful fish. He looked like he needed to eat something though. A little skinny. Another nice bass here, nice fall bass. Get her back. There she goes. Yep. Catch up to him, catch up to him. No, I'm not grabbing it. <laughs> <laughs> I will, just for you. Oh! <laughs> Again. Again, I see. I didn't touch him this time. You no. didn't touch him this time, but I. You love seeing him jump. So wh 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 I'm what? Sorry. I, what I what I think I've learned is when I'm with you, I have to go after my own. Fish. I think so. <laughs> Hooked up. It's a mile out there, so I think I can get three more casts in before you get that fish in. At least one of us connected. Oh God, he's a mean one. Mean one. Finesse jig again, half ounce. Tipped with the trigger craw is it. Um, what we're discovering today is we're getting fish on spinner baits, we're getting fish on swim baits, we're getting fish on jig. The thermocline is disappearing here in the fall, and uh, these fish are all over the water column. This one come off a clump of grass out in 13 feet of water. So I'm on the live. She in the boat. There we go, right under the boat. Okay, I'm not letting Chris get a hold of this fish. <laughs> so yeah, this is a lesson in never giving up on your cast, especially when you're only sitting here about 15, 20 feet off the shore. You don't know if these fish are following you in, so give it all the way. This fish hit right straight down below the boat. So Chris, you've got the uh, the Revo Beast X on there. It's a, it's a great little affordable reel, isn't it? Yeah, and it's multi-purpose. Do you know what I'm saying? and it is making the purpose of what we're doing right here. Yeah, now I got this one on a little bit lower gear ratio, so I'm forcing myself to fish. Right. A little bit slower, like most people are not doing these days. We are four hours into a cold front right now, so we have to slow all of our baits down. And yes, sir. Dropping that gear ratio is one of the easiest ways to do it. I think so, but it's not tiny. That's a big one. What are you talking about? No, is it's it? not. No, it's not. Oh, yeah, it is, dude. Yeah. Solid. This wind is blowing on this beautiful first strong fall day, and we had a big largemouth just eat this spinner bait. Oh, that's a nice fish, guys. Hey, baby. What's good? Chunk. Nice three pound fish, three and a quarter. Let's get this thing back in the water. Oh, she's ready to go. <sighs> Another beautiful fish today. Guys, I just want to point out real quick that we are here on one of the first cool days of the year. The wind is blowing and we picked up a spinner bait. Not because it's one of my favorite baits, but because of it imitating a school of bait fish so well. These bass are putting on the feed bag before the winter and this is just the perfect little meal for them. Look at this guy go. That's a big one. That's a big fish. <laughs> That's a big fish. Uh, I'm trying to let him, he doesn't look hooked that, uh, I don't know, now I don't see it. Looks like he swallowed it again. Yeah, you know they're eating it good. Oh yeah. That Here, snowflake. Oh yeah. Fall transition. Wow. If we were to put it what it is, it's definitely a steep bank type thing here. Every once in a while we run into one of these unicorns. Dude, I can't stress vertical fall to you guys. In the fall and everything, it's just, Dude, I learned that one from, you know, like, Denny Brower. Right. He wants you, dude, watch that line fall vertically. I'm watching how you're, you're just shaking that bait in place. Yes, when I feel it get to the flat spot, you've got literally, with the one swing of the rod, 
you've got about a three foot little window there and I'm just trying to keep it in there right. until one of these guys find it. Well, and that fish barely ate it, so. Good one, there you go, Dan. Keep, keep the tension. Keep the tension. Get him up here. Shall we swing him? Swing him. Cause we're just oh gosh. swinging. So I slowed it down. Just letting that uh, that jig and that chigger craw dance in place like Chris told me to. And that one here, yeah, it'll probably push about two, two and an eighth. So tournament day on a day like this, I might consider putting it in the box, but we're catching at least today. Oh my gosh, look at this line. What you got there, Jamie? Oh, we got a little large mouth. It might not be super little. Chris, Chris, what do I do? I want to beg. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> nice. Oh, look now, at boys. that fish. I, I like how you don't dump his fish. He's bigger than you. <laughs> Here, you unhook him then. Appreciate it. Folks, we have learned a lot from Chris today. If you want to uh, find out more about the baits we we're using, definitely check them out at berkeley-fishing.com. Chris, how do people find you online? Ah, all my socials, Chris Girl Fishing, YouTube. Come out to Illinois, Chain Rats Guide Service. We're glad to take you out on the water too. Definitely follow him, learn how to fish like a pro. Hey, I'm Dennis Appel with Jim O'Neill and the incomparable Chris Girl. Midwest Outdoors will be right back.